Hey there, this is Robert Simmers, the Billionaire Coach, and today's fancy title is Unbecoming Who You Aren't. I keep hearing people around me yelling it their own way, uh, I want to change, I want to become a better me, right? More and more I'm hearing one or the other version of this statement. Seemingly everybody is keen to work on themselves and become something that they're supposedly not. And I'm not talking about, you know, desired set of skills here. If you want to have a new career, by all means, go and study. Become someone who has that skill. I'm talking about your desired character, set of virtues, confidence, uh, inner satisfaction, or peace within yourself. Maybe a subtle difference for some, but for me, it's a huge difference as a starting point to understand that you already are that which you wish to become. Maybe you're just not seeing it yet because you have already bought into some false ideas about who you are or what you're capable of doing. Maybe you don't need to become something you're not. Maybe you actually need to unbecome who you aren't. I wonder if a simple journey down your memory lane will do for you to remember that when you came to this world, when you were a newborn baby, you had no idea about what low self-esteem is, what inability to do this or that looks like. You simply had no idea what money is, what relationships are, and you had no idea of what you cannot do or become. And you definitely had no idea what can or cannot be cured within your own body. Going down a memory lane like that would bring about simple, logical, sound conclusion that whatever you think and believe about yourself and about your qualities is all learned, adopted, embodied. So, yes, you became that over time. So what if it was possible? What if there was a simple process that can help you literally unlearn, change, update the old misunderstanding and would allow you to unbecome who you aren't. Who would you be then? Who would you be if you could change anything in your own psyche? If that would change how you see yourself, how you relate to the world and everyone in it, who would you be? Sounds to me that you'd be who you always were. And thus, rather than become something, you'd actually unbecome who you weren't in the first place. You know, other people's opinions, ideas, judgments, convictions, as your environment has taught you so much about who you are and who you're supposed to be, instilling within you all sorts of useful things, but also a truckload of limitations and misunderstandings. Have you ever seen a depressed baby? No, they cry when there's discomfort, like, like pain or hunger. But on the moment's notice, as soon as the pain is gone, babies laugh so blissfully. And that, my friend, represents the age-old default setting for all of us. Natural joy, bliss, presence, you know, stuff we manage to think ourselves out of. Think about that for a moment. And while you're thinking, the question remains, who would you be if you could find a way to change the stuff about you that you don't like? And the moment you have a good idea of who you would rather be, please notice, where did it thought come from? Was it really from the outside? Or was it from the same you, from within you, nudging you to see the brighter side of yourself, reminding you that there is more to you than it meets the eye inside of you, already there, as it's always been the real you. And that's why it's been said that your dreams and desires reveal who you really are, that whatever you can envision, Construct in your mind's eye, you can create and be. Sending you all my love to you for who you are today and for who you have always been inside.